Good Monday afternoon, everyone. TJ here for your 12 p.m. Express Apps class. For today, you will just need a mat, and that is pretty much it. But before we get started, let's kind of prep our core before we begin. So I just want you to sit back into child's pose, just really stretching out the low back before we start especially since if you've been sitting in a chair for probably the good four hours of the morning. And I want you to walk your hands over to your left just a little bit, just feeling that stretch in the low back and just slightly off to the side of that. And now I want you to walk your hands slowly over or just a little bit over to the right. and walk it back to the center. And from there, we are going to move into either the Sphinx, so where we're pretty much relying on our belly, but we're, our, or we're propped up on our elbows, or you could push up through your hands if you prefer, but stretching out through the front, so the abdomen, for the core. Excellent. All right. So starting off, we're going to do the Superman. So you can either keep your elbows by your side and we're just lifting the upper body up off the ground just a little bit. Otherwise, you can have your hands out in front and imagine that you are flying. All right. Ready? Go. So squeezing through the glutes or through your hips, feeling it through the low back, nice job, keep going, don't forget to squeeze through the hips, five, four, three, two, one, excellent job. We're going to alternate back and forth. So we're gonna flip it over onto our back. All right, so hands right underneath your backside or your bottom. Option one is with your legs at 90 degrees, you could just heel tap and then bring it back to 90 degrees. Option two, straight leg, bringing it down just where it's hovering above the floor and then back up. All right, ready, go. So again, those hands are cradling the low back just for stability. So a straight leg, working on the lower part of the core, otherwise bent knee, heel taps, hits the floor, you bring it back up. This one is a little less impactful or a little less stressing on the low back, if need be. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So we're going to flip it back over onto our stomach. It's a lot of flipping. All right. So we're going to include the feet this time, but no hands. So it's just lifting up that lower half of the body. All right, ready, go. So lifting those legs just to where the knees are just floating off the ground, still squeezing through those hips, feeling it through the low back. Excellent job, everyone. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so we're going to flip it back over again. So you've got those same two exercises. Nothing changes about it. So either legs at 90 degrees, heel tap, 
You can move your heel out a little further and bring it in if it's easier. Ready? Go. Make sure that your hands are cradled around your, your backside or your bottom. Protect your low back, keeping your belly button drawn in towards your spine. Taking your time, not rushing through it. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, flip it over again. All right, last and final round. This time we're including the hands and the feet. So for the Supermans, get ready. So either you can have your elbows by your side with your arms or out in front of you. Ready, go. Nice job. So this time both the hands and the legs or the arms and the legs are coming off the ground. Squeezing through your hips. And again, ultimately feeling it in the low back. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so flip it over one last time. Or that leg raise. So remember, bent knee with the heel tap, otherwise straight leg. Make sure your hands are cradling your backside. Ready, go. Nice job. Again, bracing the core. If you're doing the straight leg and you feel like it's a little too much going all the way down, maybe stop halfway and then bring it back up. Feeling this in the lower half of our abdomen or what's below the belt. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so before we go into the next one, straighten the legs, hands overhead, and point your toes away from you. Just feeling that stretch again through the core before we start our next one. All right, so legs bent. Feet flat on the floor. Option one, we're gonna do a basic crunch. All right? Otherwise, option two is a sit up. I will leave it up to you which one you wanna do. Ready, set, go. So with your crunch, keeping the chin off of your chest, the shoulder blades are barely coming off the ground. Nice job using your hands to cradle your head just so that there's no tension on the neck. Otherwise, doing the sit up, which I will do for the next round. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so the next one that we're going to do is going to be a bicycle. So, if you're familiar with bicycles, it's opposite elbow to opposite knee. Just going back and forth. It doesn't need to be fast. You can control it. Ready? Go. So again, hands behind the head, bracing. Bracing the head or supporting the head so there's no tension. 
Now, if you bicycle and you take it up a little higher, it's going to be a little less um, noticeable on the low back. But if you take it down a little more parallel or horizontal with the floor, it's going to become a little more pressure on the low back. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. All right. So going back to the one that we just did. All right. So it's either the crunch or the sit up. And I'm going to do the sit up this time. All right. Ready, set, go. So you can have your hands behind your head for your sit up or cross them in front of you. Now, if you are at home and you feel like you have something that you kind of move your feet underneath, like a couch, something that's not going to tip over, nice job, five, four, Three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so bicycle number two. Get ready. Set, go. So remember, opposite elbow to opposite knee. You don't have to move as fast as I am. Keeping that core engaged. Nice job. If you feel like it comes too much, you can always just cross over towards the opposite side. Five, four, three, two, one. Just to downplay it a little bit if you need to. All right. So we've got one last and final sit up or crunch. Totally up to you. Get ready. Three. Two, one, go. So crunch or sit up. If you're doing the sit up, just trying to keep your head in a neutral position, which means that you're keeping it in line with the rest of your spine. You need to use your arms just to kind of swing it up a little bit. As long as you have control on the way up and on the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, one last and final bicycle crunch. And then we're going to do just a little bit of stretching for our core. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. So last bicycle crunch. Stick it out for me. Great job, everyone. Keep it up. So opposite elbow, opposite knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so same stretch that we did between the rounds. I want you to extend those legs, hands overhead. Just feeling that stretch, point your toes away from your body. Nice job. All right, from here, I want you to make the figure four. So taking your ankle, your right ankle, crossing it over your left knee, I want you to reach through the hole with your right hand and take that left hand and just pull it towards you, feeling that stretch through your glute. So again, from the sitting. Nice job, set it down. Switch sides. So now left ankle is going to cross over the right knee. 
Left hand reaches through the hole. Right hand is going to reach around that right leg and just point it towards you, feeling that stretch. Nice job, everyone. All right, you survived. Proud of you. All right, so for tomorrow, we have stretch break uh, in person, and then we have total body challenge um, in person. Just to let you know, those are both at noon and at 1230, all right? Have a great day. Bye, everyone.